We just spent the past several days here at the 2025 ACT Expo in Anaheim, California, and here are the top reveals that you need to know more about. Cummins introduced a new modular platform for its advanced LFP batteries, designed specifically for commercial fleet flexibility. Each battery pack contains up to five internal tiers, delivering up to 104 kilowatt hours at 840 volts. It's available in up to five different tiers, and you can mix and match any of these batteries together because it has the same number of cells and it has the same voltage. And so depending on the space and the volume that you have available, you can mix and match these different batteries in order to meet the energy need that you have and to fit in the space that you have available. The batteries will be manufactured in the U.S. through Cummins' joint venture with Daimler and Packard, and a full rollout is expected in 2027. The system will debut in the Isuzu F-Series medium-duty electric truck, marking a major step towards scalable, zero-emission commercial transport. Harbinger Motors, a California-based manufacturer of American-made, medium-duty electric strip chassis, revealed a significant expansion to its product lineup, a new plug-in hybrid vehicle designed for more demanding commercial use cases. Electrification isn't a single solution, it's a spectrum. Which brings me to the final part of our presentation this evening. Introducing the Harbinger plug-in hybrid vehicle, our first series hybrid platform for commercial fleets. This vehicle takes our proven electric chassis and pairs it with a gas-powered range extender that recharges the battery when needed. You get the same electric performance, instant torque, smooth handling, but with the benefit of up to 500 miles of range to give you the confidence to go farther. With this kind of range, we're extending electrification to a whole new array of use cases, from delivery vehicles on multi-shift schedules to cross-country trips and middle mile distribution. And starting today, it's available for pre-order with deliveries early next year. Panasonic Energy, a longtime battery technology leader, will supply the battery cells for the new vehicle. Harbinger stands out in the commercial EV space for its vertical integration. They're the only electric truck manufacturer that designs and assembles nearly all critical vehicle systems in-house, including its battery packs, electric drive units, and steering and braking systems. All assembly takes place in Garden Grove, California. Also teased during the presentation is Harbinger's upcoming DC Mobile Fast Charger, a roadside solution that can deliver 10 miles of range in just 10 minutes. Honda, a company that's been developing hydrogen fuel cell technology since 1998, unveiled its next generation fuel cell module for the first time in North America. The new 150 kilowatt PEM fuel cell designed for medium and heavy duty applications offers double the durability, triple the power density, and 59.8% efficiency, all while cutting production costs in half. As such, we've developed a new future generation model that is on a display at our booth that's been customized, tailored specifically for these medium heavy duty applications. 150 kilowatt PEM fuel cell that we will be having into the market later in the decade. But we see a vision of this enabling our decarbonization journey for our manufacturing sites and our supply partners. That decarbonization journey is part of Honda's company-wide goal to reach carbon neutrality across all products and operations by 2050, a lofty target for a company that once produced 30 million internal combustion engines a year. While the new module isn't yet in their Class 8 hydrogen truck on display, that vehicle demonstrates Honda's serious push into zero emission freight. Honda also showcased its stationary fuel cell power generator, designed to create energy for large facilities such as factories and data centers. Their stationary generator is set to enter mass production in 2026. Hylion, previously known for developing hybrid powertrains, has shifted focus and unveiled its new flagship product, the Carno Generator. The concept behind the Carno stems from growing electricity demand and the belief that in order to meet this demand, the power grid must move toward a more distributed model. Energy demand, electricity demand is skyrocketing, it's increasing, whether it's from EVs or data centers or industrial applications. And the model has been where you have this, the main power plant and it feeds electricity out to all the end destinations. We think it's a better move going forward to deploy modular power plant systems at that end location, feed the facility with electricity, 
and then not be reliant on a main power plant. The Carnot is designed to generate 200 kilowatt hours of electricity, and what sets it apart is its versatility. It can run over 20 different fuels and doesn't need to shut down to switch between them. That flexibility is key as the energy landscape remains uncertain. So as we think about like what's the future of the energy landscape, I don't think any of us could predict, is it going to be hydrogen? Will it be natural gas? Will it be some fuel like ammonia, methanol, right? We don't know what the future is going to hold. So we see this as a way to almost future-proof yourself where you can adopt a solution today that can run on many of the fuels that are expected to be utilized down the road. On top of that, the Carnot is built for minimal maintenance. It uses no oil or lubricants, and a larger 2 megawatt version is already in development. Finally, the Carnot is not a concept, it's already in the field. So on our last earnings call, we mentioned how we just made delivery of our first unit to the U.S. Navy. Uh, the long-term approach there is we're looking at vessels, so ships, and this being the power plant uh, within them. Hyundai and its partners are bringing a major clean energy development to Savannah, Georgia, the industry's first commercial-scale hydrogen production and refueling facility designed specifically for Class A trucks. This is an industry first. That's a very important point here, right? So think of this as a commercial hydrogen refueling station, right, that we're producing hydrogen there, distributing hydrogen there, for up to, at scale, up to 100 Hyundai Axian trucks. The project, called H2 Energy Savannah, will produce hydrogen on site, eliminating transportation expenses. Hyundai says this will make the hydrogen low cost. The station is strategically located near Hyundai's Metaplant America manufacturing facility, the Port of Savannah, and major interstates 16 and 95, making it an ideal hub for regional clean logistics. And the plan doesn't stop with hydrogen. Phase two of the project will introduce battery electric truck charging, though that capability won't be available at launch. Hyundai sees H2 Energy Savannah as a model it can build on, with plans to replicate similar clean energy hubs at other logistics centers across the U.S. I actually say this is a copy and paste example of what we envision, proving our point, starting it in Savannah, coast to coast, you may see this in California because this formula works. Kenworth is making another leap forward in battery electric technology with a debut of two new electric trucks. Joe and I are thrilled to be able to introduce you to the industry's first Class 8 battery electric work truck, the T880E. This truck is durable, reliable, rugged, and it's built on the T880 platform that all of our customers know and trust. But now we have it in a battery electric version. But you know, today, it's not just about the T880E because we're not bringing you just one truck, we're bringing you two new trucks. We also have the next gen T680E. It's built on the next gen T680 platform and features a brand new Packard e powertrain. That e powertrain is a key part of what sets these trucks apart. It features a unique midship motor design that allows for a high degree of parts commonality with Kenworth's internal combustion models, especially in the rear chassis. That means greater serviceability and easier integration into existing fleets. Inside the cab, both trucks deliver a modern driver-focused experience with digital rear view mirrors, a fully digital dash, and a large 15-inch display. The T880E is designed for vocational duty and can be configured for a range of more than 250 miles, while the highway Focus T680E can be configured for a range of over 200 miles. Both trucks support DC fast charging up to 350 kilowatts. Together, the T880E and T680E reflect Kenworth's ongoing push to make electric power a viable option for both vocational and on-highway fleets. Mack Trucks has announced the upcoming release of a battery electric version of its newest highway truck, the Mack Pioneer. The electric Pioneer will be Mack's first fully in-house electric platform, featuring a proprietary E-axle and powered by the latest generation Proterra batteries. Designed for regional haul, drayage, and hub and spoke operations, the electric Pioneer will be available in day cab and 44 inch short sleeper configurations. 
It shares the aerodynamic design of its diesel counterpart, including features like streamlined chassis and an optional digital mirror that enhances visibility and fuel efficiency. To learn more about the Mac Pioneer, watch our test drive and overview by clicking the video on the screen now. That's it for the biggest announcements from ACT Expo 2025. To stay up to date on all clean trucking news, subscribe to our newsletter using the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.